Hi, first graders. We're back with your next number talk today. Um, we're going to do a series of number talks here, starting with the problem. Seven plus seven today. All right, so again, pause your video if you need to try and figure out what your answer is. Um, Patrick is going to help me out a little bit today, my third grader. So he should be well-versed in this first grade stuff, but um, he's going to help us out anyway. So uh, seven plus seven, Patrick, how might you know what seven plus seven is equal to? Just to make it easier, you can add three to one seven and take away, away three from another one. Oh, so you're going to use a make ten to help you solve this. Mm -hmm. So seven plus three of those seven is what? Ten. And then how many are left? So you're breaking up your seven into three and four. Okay, so you've already added the three to get to 10, and then you have four more to get to 14. 14. Very good. Um, for seven plus seven for me, I actually just recognize that as a double. Um, and so hopefully some of you are starting to recognize that as a double. If you know your doubles, and Patrick does too, he's trying to help us with a different type of strategy here, if we're not sure. Um, you, some of you might just recognize that as one of our doubles. Some of you might also start at seven and then count on seven more. So when you add eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, when you count on, you should also get to 14. So if we know that seven plus seven is 14, let's take a look at the next problem here. We have seven plus six. All right, so how might we solve seven plus six here? So we already know what 7 plus 7 is. It's 14, so you do 7 plus 7, and then you subtract 1 from it, which is 13. Okay. So this would be a great problem to use your doubles again. We call this our doubles minus 1 strategy that Patrick just did. So he remembered that 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, and then if you just take 1 away, that's going to give you 13. Um, again, you might use the count on strategy, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You might also um, make a 10, similar to what Patrick did here, using three of those six to get to 10, and then just adding three more. Really lots of different strategies we could do here. What if the problem was seven plus eight? How might we find out what seven plus eight is equal to? So again, we know what seven plus seven is. It's 14. So seven, you do seven plus seven is 14. And then 14 plus 1 is 15. And why did we add one more in? Um, because 8 is one more than 7. Okay, so we, we had brought it down to make it 7 plus 7. We had taken one away from the 8, so now we're adding that one back in to get to 15. Um, so again, that that is using our doubles to help us solve. That would be our doubles plus 1 strategy. Um, but again, lots of different ways you could do that. You could count on... You could also make a 10, 7 plus 3 equals 10, and then we just have 5 more to add in there to get to 15. All right, those doubles are very important, so maybe take some time over break to do some fun things with doubles um, so that you're familiar with those facts. All right, thanks. Bye. Lo que quiero hacer en este video es pensar un poco en lo que los números representan realmente. Digamos que tengo el número 25. 25. ¿Qué representa este número realmente? Bueno, el 5 está en la posición de las unidades y representa 5 unidades. Y este 2 está en la posición de las decenas. Decenas. Y este está en la posición de las unidades y aquí escribo unidades. ¿Pero qué queremos decir con esto? Bueno, vamos a ver otra manera de escribir este número. Este 2 representa 2 decenas que lo podemos escribir como dos decenas más cinco unidades. Cinco unidades. ¿Y qué significa dos decenas? Cuando pensamos en dos decenas, podemos pensar en dos grupos de diez cosas, bloques de diez cosas. Y voy a usar estos bloques para representar estas dos decenas. Lo copio y tengo una decena y dos decenas. Aquí tengo representadas dos decenas, que es lo mismo que 20 cosas, más cinco unidades. Y las unidades las tenemos representadas aquí con una barra vertical. Y cinco unidades se vería como sigue. Una, 
dos, tres, cuatro y cinco. Estas son distintas maneras de representar la misma cantidad. 25 es lo mismo que dos decenas y cinco unidades. El 2 está en la posición de las decenas y el 5 en la posición de las unidades. Así que dos decenas más cinco unidades también lo podemos visualizar como dos grupos de 10 y cinco unidades. Y estos dos grupos de 10 son igual a 20 y este de aquí es igual a 5. Todas estas son distintas formas de representar el número 25. Aquí tenemos dos decenas y cinco unidades que lo podemos escribir como dos decenas más cinco unidades. Y también podemos escribir este 25, 25 como este 2 es dos decenas, así que es 20 más cinco unidades.